Finally! Yay! We can now talk to a dwarf. And back to your regular scheduled programming. Hey everybody, Kit here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Um, so the spirits are mildly perturbed today. Been playing for a few days. Um, and let's see here. Uh, pumpkin pie, ah yes, excellent. So, yeah, not really a lot to report, I'll be perfectly honest, but I do have a few things to report. Um, mainly, as you saw in the first little clip, we got the green scroll. And actually, I thought I would have to, like, really try a lot. Oh, no, just one more day. Literally the next day and I got it. I was just like, thank God. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Uh, Robin wants ten pieces of hardwood, okay. And then, as you can see, we got a lot of trash. Oh my gosh. I, I literally was like fishing and fishing and fishing. Could not get it at all. It was not coming. As you can see, I finally, I looked it up and I'm like, where do I get trash in this game? Because I even took all of the, my bait and my bobber off. I was like, I'm, I'm losing my mind. And alas, finally, we got it. <sighs> now, it is Sunday. Um, but basically what I was thinking was, uh, pardon me, let's go fit, yeah. Mm. Oh shoot, actually no, I can just put that in the thing, can't I? Um, okay, so let's take care of everything really quickly. Part of me wants to go get, see if I can get the, um, the, uh, thingamabobber. Oh. Part of me wants to go see if we can get the octopus. The other part of me says, no, let's go to this coal cavern. So, guess what we're doing? Oh, no. Okay. Wow. Um, because honestly, I'm wanting to go kill things. <laughs> I want to go get a lot of things. Uh, so this, these guys here want basalt. Actually, I just realized I'm not going to be able to put that one in. That's okay, though. I did give the two emeralds to these guys, as you can see. We went and got our axe, chopped down a lot of trees. Um, yeah. So let's do that. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, five. Yeah, so one, two. Yeah, I haven't really had, like, too much time playing this week, honestly. I don't know, my brain's been a little bit of a different place. Oh, I forgot! Oh, I'm so glad I recorded today. Oh my gosh. Um, would anyone like to give me a name for the little dino baby? Um, if not i will come up with a name i'm just gonna leave it as a placeholder right now uh juju um because i do like the fact that you can change the animals names at any time that's fantastic so god that is an amazing thing i love it okay hello little placeholder name how are you doing We did also get that upgraded, so I really should uh, go get a little um, oh shoot, go get a uh, little uh, thingy my bobber, the thingy that is the thingy that is a freaking right, a um a rabbit. <laughs> Sorry, my brain says no. No, we're not we're not 
doing words. It has been a day. Not a bad one, a pretty good one. I'm just, I'm behind on like a lot of things, but at the same time, it's like, I can't quite be bothered to fix. But I'm going to, so. Hmm. Purchase, okay. Part of me is tempted to get another pig, to be perfectly honest. But I only have so much money, and that wouldn't be smart. We might get another pig in a few days, just, just depending, you know? Um, so we're gonna get us a little rabbit. Would anyone like to name the rabbit as well? Um, a dinosaur and a rabbit name. Otherwise, it's, it's shack. Really? Really? That does not sound right. But you do you, randomizer. So yeah, I hope everyone is doing okay today. Um, I will be perfectly honest, it's like... 11.55 uh, on Tuesday, and this is supposed to go up in the morning, so... <laughs> uh, um, is there anything I'm missing? Because, like, need some of these or a truffle. Truffle, maki roll, and a poppy. Red cabbage, sunflower. Okay, so I don't think I can get anything because you have tulip. Dang. And uh, no, I already have one of those, so let's keep going. <coughs> Sorry. So we're gonna take care of the trash today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go take care of the trash, get that thing turned in, throw that in there, that in there, and then I am thinking we will go to the Skull Caverns, I think. I mean, Perturbed isn't exactly the best day, but like, it's an okay day, not the best, not the worst. If I can get some more things to sell, I mean, really, if I'm looking for money, obviously, fishing's the best way. Prop in one of the ten pieces of wood, guess who forgot it? Me. Um, that's okay, I'll get it next time. I'll take care of it later, maybe. Okay, boom, 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 boom. There we go. And we get a few things left over, awesome. Final day, I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do it, but I really wanted to for Linus. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, so put that up. Mm. Put that up as well. Let's go put the trash. Let's grab that real quick. Whoa, okay, I was clicking. I'm like, why is it not getting there? Um, boop, boop. Alright, there we go. And sell that. And we will put that up. We'll take care of those later. We'll take care of those another day. Hopefully we'll be able to get the... Um, I know I'm taking a lot of tools. I don't have a proper tools chest yet. That's a, it'll be okay. I'll leave that there for right now. Bring these for extra energy. Actually, I think I'll just eat them right now. Here you go. Yeah. Not a problem, Pam. Okay. 
All right. Let's get this train wreck going. But yeah, so we can buy bombs now. I don't really want to right now, if that makes sense. It's a little expensive. It's 600 a bomb? It's a lot. Hmm. Hello. I was sitting there thinking, like, please give me something good, but instead you gave me copper ore, and I'm sad now. Did I need that? Yes, I did. Nice. I didn't need any of that, though. Okay, so we got a lot of that. I will... Bandit's awake. She's scratching. Alright. Time for this. The sound I did not want to hear. Alright. Bandit baby, please don't scratch a hole in that bed. It's okay. Oh, no. No. The game literally just said we choose violence, huh? Gosh, so the other day on stream, I, on the other save file, which is eons ahead, this one's like super behind. It's because in my off time, I've been literally just, just no-braining, V-rising. Um, but anyway, I got so lucky with the ladders for like a solid it felt like five minutes and it was amazing absolutely amazing unfortunately did not get down to level 100 but dang was it not glorious just going uh okay I'm actually going to put a bomb right there. And you know what? It paid off. There's a hole. Let's get in it. <laughs> Seven levels. Not too shabby. Ooh, I see that in that. Let's go. Keep going. Boom. Move. Gosh, I thought I had the uh, Iridium pick for a second. Need to get this thing upgraded. Need to see what my Iridium situation is, actually. I was kind of hoping there might be something good in there. Ah, there it is. No. Quietly say that was worth it. Hello. Oh. Oh. Get get me down. That hurt just a little bit. So we're not a bombs. I'm also kinda considering making some. Let's run the gambit real quick, just to make sure it's not around. Okay, never mind. Yeah, so, I think part of the reason why I'm just behind is been doing a lot of things that I am not comfortable with, but they are 
<sighs> classified under self growth, and I don't like it. <laughs> um, and uh, I used to go to therapy for a while. My therapist would be also proud. Because I was doing good enough that pretty much it was a as needed basis of what we decided. Which, you know, was great for me. Because expensive. So she'd be oh so proud, but it does it does take a lot, you know? So I think that's part of why I'm just kinda like, oh like mega behind on things that normally I'd have a while. Um yeah, okay. Let's eat that. Um, I also want to get rid of those. Not too sure that's worth it, honestly. I think I have a lot of copper ore. I don't want to use too much. But, like... I need you all to group up. That, I would say, was a very good use of, uh, that. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm a little proud of myself for that one? Just, just a little bit. Oh, no. Go away, please. I have done nothing to you. That's why I made the bomb. I wanted, like... Let's eat that. Get it out of there. Sorry. Ah, had a itchy nose. Had to fix. So, part of it's just been I've been, like, throwing myself into comfort game, which right now is V Rising, although it's about to become Planet Zoo again. Uh, I don't know, like, the there's just been some content I've been making that, uh, it's harder just in general for me to make. So... Um, what do we get rid of? Well, first of all, can I make another one of them? Oh, it took literally everything. Perfection. Okay. Um, all right, let me, let me go up. Actually, I'll drink the coffee as well. That way I can get, pick, pick that up. Blech. What? I didn't know you could get, Okay. All right, let's. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to even lift it anyway, or you know, lift what? No. But yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say it's just not that easy for me to promote myself. Never has been. Um, and this week I did some stuff that was definitely outside of my comfort zone. And people were kind. It made me want to cry. In a good way. So it's like, hey. It's, it's okay to branch a little bit, you know? Try new things, essentially. I hate leaving that, uh, ruby, but... Yeah, we actually had some friends over, and... I'm a plant science major that I'm also... Doing a lot of natural remedies, herbalist type things, and I've been getting more and more into it. 
and so family friend asked about it and something I'm very passionate about and I essentially made my own homemade Vicks Vapo Rub because fun fact it's Vicks Vapo Rub is actually that that smell of Vicks you know that almost burning like almost a minty type scent right it's from this plant um I'm gonna butcher it but it's something succulent coleus I believe also known as the Vix plant and it is an actual succulent Ooh, a hole this is gonna hurt because I just realized look at that oh let's not do that and um yeah so I was like holy crap I could use this to make my own homemade Vicks vapor rub just to see if it works so I did a lot of research was trying to find a recipe could not find a recipe to save my life I got a bunch of people saying oh yeah you can make your own with it but there were no recipes like at all on mine nada nothing I was like no so I really thought about it and I'm like okay so what what can go in this thing um so a bunch of that I put a bunch of leaves well first of all I boiled the leaves just in water because I was sick at the time when I made this um and <clears throat> so I just boiled the leaves breathed in the steam and I was like holy crap this is this is Vix like without that icky burning like almost chemical smell if that makes sense oh god i hate these levels and so i just decided screw it uh so i went and i got some rosemary just a few sprigs of rosemary from my garden i got a few sprigs of lavender i had uh, i added more lavender with essential oils I took a bunch of the leaves, like a lot of cuttings, a bunch of the leaves. Um, oh, what else did I do? Ooh. Hole. God, what else did I do? Hang on, I have to sit here and think about it, because I know I'm about to like die, uh, about to fall asleep uh, in the game. let's see that so I did oh yeah peppermint I added peppermint as well because and I wasn't too sure because peppermint typically does not exactly have like it's not exactly known for its properties and like clearing sinuses right but I was figuring that minty smell right it was it's similar to Vicks if you think about it um and fun fact it's actually good with asthma and allergies um but the book I have did say asthma didn't say allergies but you know how that goes like you kind of have to do your research in all sorts of different ways um so someone who i trust very greatly actually was like i was talking to her about this recently and she was like yeah actually that was a really good call uh really good gut instinct and i was just like ah yay but um and then I did essential oils of, uh, essential oil blends of immunity and breathe, which promote basically breathing and, you know, immune boost, uh, an immune boost. And I do believe it was all of the different herbs I used. Yeah, and all of them from, from my garden. No, and I added eucalyptus, that's right. I added eucalyptus uh, essential oils because I don't have a eucalyptus plant. Sadly, I want one. So I put all of that together and the base was coconut oil. Um, and I have an entire jam jar. And when I tell you that stuff works, like I spear it on the top of my lip, just like you would with Vicks. And it, I hate Vicks because it's petroleum jelly based and it just gets everywhere and it doesn't absorb and it's just icky and gross and I don't like it I'll use it but I don't like it and so I 
used coconut oil and it absorbed within five minutes it worked better and it was soothing like it didn't have that burning scent it just smells really good and it did the same thing um but i've also found out that like on bug bites and cuts um or places where you've rubbed your skin off because chafing sucks um and also uh, just, just injuries trying to heal, like scab wounds and things. Um, and also like weird whelps and rashes and stuff. It's great. It has almost like a, a mild sensation of, oh, it's almost mild. It's, it just brings relief, like a very mild relief. And I'm so happy with my first attempt. And my dad's not really one for medicine in general, or salves, or creams, of any variety. Yeah. What's that? Antibiotic equipment? Nah. So, he was like, shark's on my back the other day. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, I bluffed up for sure, because he, it was something that was like really bothering him. And I'm thinking, okay, he's got a bug bite. No, instead, I just see where he's been scratching. Like, he's got whelps all over his skin. I'm like, dad? And so I immediately went to grab that. So my mom and I made the recent discovery. I decided to put it on some bug bites that day. And I just, before he even could say anything, I just started putting it all over him. All over his back. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, I'm just trying something that I made. Uh, he knew I made it. And he thought it was cool or whatever. Um, but at the time he was like, I was like, you know, hopefully it'll help. And he's like, it, it actually already is. And I was just like, yes. But anyway, so I told her all of that. And she said if I made her some, then uh, she would pay me for it. And I'm just like, because oh! I would love, it's what I want to do one day is have a business of plants and almost like a grocery store with aquaponics and basically walk through almost like a botanical gardens or a... Uh, a, a greenhouse with aquaponics and you pick your own produce and you know where it comes from you know what you're getting you learn about plants and you learn about the system and also you can get some things like that oil of oregano or like a vix and things like that and you can start doing this yourself if you'd like um because i do believe that there's a happy medium between eastern and western too much of pills is too is bad, but you also need Western medicine for certain things as well. There's a happy balance. It doesn't mean that we have to be, like, bad with how we eat, you know? Or bad with what we do. I don't know. Sorry. Anyway, um, we're obviously way out of time. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, honestly, I don't think we did too bad. Oh, wait. Let's look real quick. I've got four of that. Let's see. Oh, I could do five. So, okay. I can do... I can do that. Oh, and I replaced those. Great. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's not bad. Not too shabby. Okay, so we've got five Iridium bars now. We still need to keep going, but I also want to... Hmm. No. We'll wait a few days. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Um, guys, I will see you all on Friday, most likely. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and this rambling. Uh, love all of you and Lori, because you, for some reason, find these entertaining. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye.